Hey guys, Sage Green here and welcome back to the garden. I am back with another video and in today's video we will be talking about the unfortunate, unfortunate disadvantages of having African parents. And who else better than to talk about or to break down this topic with than family? I brought my sister with me today. <laughs> so we have her on the channel. I will let her introduce herself. Hey, my name is AJ, AJ Art on uh, YouTube and on TikTok. <laughs> I forgot my Insta my, my socials and dark skin canvas on Instagram. Uh, it doesn't matter, I'll leave you like shit in the description. Oh. But yeah, just before we get into the topic, I always do this. Get something that you're about to smoke, get something that you're gonna drink. Let's get lit, let's smoke, let's talk about it. Let's do drugs. <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> so once again, I just had to close off the window and switch on the fan because it is crazy hot in here. But yeah, as I said, grab something here for smoke. Um, I'm I'm gonna take a hit before we get into this topic because this shit is deep. <sighs> it's actually really hectic, but I'm, I'm managing. Gently can't manage, but I'm managing. I said, damn, bitch. Serious. <laughs> Anyways, um, before we, before any further, ne yeah, before any further, ado. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Before any other, it's your heart, you need to understand. <coughs> Fine. Um, we have a couple of topics here. I'm not sure if we're gonna like cover everything because they're really long and strange. But yeah, let's get into the first topic. Okay, so we are just getting high, but um. Okay. Uh, first topic, like I said, <coughs> this is the first topic. First topic is shit you never know what to do as a kid. Think about it. I couldn't go out with my friends. Yeah. <laughs> you can sleep over. I couldn't play outside with other kids. We couldn't walk home alone. <laughs> we couldn't go to school alone. I mean, it was just it's, it's a long list of we could not do. <laughs> no cap. Because yeah. Means, it was just too many things. I feel like the reason why we're so quiet right now is because there's just so many things going on here. Because, mm -hmm. like, what you say, it was a lot. Yeah, it was a lot. Like, it was a lot. As <clears> it's <throat> also, it's like, there's, there's just a lot of shit that you just want to, like, forget because, yeah. you know, but it's a long as list of do not do's. And I feel like when people meet us now, they will never think that, like, eh, this was something that, this was like the strict rules that I grew up with because I'm literally sitting in my room and smoking. Yeah. So it's like, it happened. Like, yeah. there was a long list of shit that you are. Uh, we were not allowed to do. You are. Uh, yeah, we're not like allowed to go out. We stayed indoors. It was like, it was a crazy childhood. But I feel like um, having like African, African parents. What do I mean by African, African parents? I don't know. Ask yourself that question. <sighs> but I do feel like having them put so many restrictions, like it wasn't Yeah, like, <laughs> like you, know, it's crazy to have to hear ourselves say that we didn't go out and play, we didn't do this because yeah. it just seems like, especially when you walk in the street today and you just see kids playing in the road. Yeah, it seems like, like an yeah, everyday thing. Yeah, 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 like, yeah. But you never had that experience, and you know, this. Yeah. you know that you never had this experience. That's so. true. Okay, so um, I don't know. Do you have anything else, like maybe a specific story when you speak about the time you were not allowed to do something and you were just like, this is bonkers. Like, okay, so this one time, I think it was in grade eight or grade nine, if yeah. I'm mistaken. And it was during um, exams, yeah. right? So uh, I think it was second term, so we're allowed to go early. Yeah. So the moment you're done with the exam, oh. Mm -hmm. So we spent some time, some hours at the school running around, mm -hmm. having fun, and then we went home. And then I remember they're like, hey, okay, so we were going to the library and they're like, let's just go to the library and study. So I was like, okay, cool. So everybody in music go to the library. I knew I had to ask for permission. So I told the rest, I was like, hey, yo, fam, I need to go home and let them know that this is the plan. So we did, and I never came out. <laughs> Tragic. <laughs> I never came out. Like, the moment I went in and said, hey, I want to go to the library, I was like, yeah, like, they'll give you this eye. They told me, no, they told me, sure, no, you're not going to be friends. I'm like, but they're outside. Mm -hmm. and like, then they'll go home. Mm -hmm. Then I'm like, okay, let me go out and tell them that they can go without me. And they're like, no, don't go. 
Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and they left. Yeah. They, when I came to school, if they were like coming to me, like yeah. nothing happened. Yeah. And I was like, yo, guys, I'm really sorry for what happened yesterday. And they're like, oh, no, we we had an idea because you yeah. did mention that hey, you even had to ask for permission. That's already hectic. Yeah. So they were just like, ah, we understood the assignment. The moment you didn't come out. Okay, so moving on to the next topic. Uh, we'll be speaking about how they respond to your behavior and your disrespect. <laughs> I don't know. I feel like I never really disrespected intentionally, so it wasn't disrespect. I think I feel like she's lying, but I also think that like, um, like yeah, obviously. I okay. Mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. You can make whatever funny faces you want, but you're lying because we all intentionally disrespect our parents or something. Um, but I feel like they are. Um, response to our behavior was intense. Was yeah, it wasn't funny. Like it wasn't funny. Can I say intense? Is that English? But yeah, like yeah, <laughs> but like yeah. Um, I feel like what they did to us or like their responses was not necessary. Yeah, like it was not that it wasn't funny. That's why. It that's why it feels. Oh dear! Why would you do this? Oh dear! Why would you do oh, this? Dear, that kind of it's like um, that's why you feel like I wasn't disrespectful because they were so unnecessary. Yeah, I really feel like they yeah. Were. yeah, and you're just like. Am I the one who's wrong or are you the one who's wrong now? Because it, I mean. it gets confusing because someone has to be wrong. Mm, but, but it's like both of you can be wrong. Yeah, now both of you are wrong. You know, but any story this time, how would you share? Let's just share a story by the time you're <laughs> yeah. like disrespect me. <laughs> yeah, and it's just injustice. Um, I don't know. Okay, let me okay, let me not say disrespect, let me say behavior. So um yeah. In like. grade twelve, right, uh we used to stay at school till four o'clock for extra classes after it. So now I told my parents five because I wanted to spend an extra hour out with my friends. Okay, with my ex actually. So uh yeah, yeah, yeah. So um coming home at five o'clock and like I would go over and chill at my ex's house. So like one time um my dad like called this family meeting and like started calling me out on my shit and like I don't know like what the problem was. I don't know if it was because I was coming home late or whatever. But like he started calling me out of my shit and I didn't even like take off my uniform. I started my uniform on, he started attacking me. And he was like, yo, he started coming for me. And he straight up said, you know what? If you feel like I'm picking on you, I am picking on you. And I was like, damn. <laughs> yeah. And I was just like, yo, this is so hectic. And I'm like, what is going on? And yes, let me not lie to you now. I feel like I was wrong because my behavior was wrong. I was lying. But I only lied because like, come on, guys. They were not giving me the feeling that I wanted because at this point you're giving me fuel well to carry on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're giving me feel like whatever. Yes, yes. You're always gonna feel this way about me. Yeah. Might as well. So yeah, so I feel like wrong. yeah, that yeah, it was hectic for real, for real. I feel like the responses are definitely hectic. On to the next topic, having family over, having extended family like your uncles, your aunties, your cousins, your grandparents, people you've never met basically. Yeah, basically, that's what I wanted to say. I wanted to say that shit is so annoying because. 90% of these people you've never met and you've never ever heard your parents talking about them until today I feel like even if you do hear them talking about these people that they also don't know much about Yeah <laughs> It's like so vague and they mention so many people and it's like I will never really remember from just the name uh, And I feel like like parents are so disconnected like with family and friends and whatever Like I feel like personally I wouldn't want to grow up and like have kids I don't want to have kids now but I'm just making an example I won't want to grow up and have kids and then like my kids don't even know my siblings and these yeah. are people that i want to share a room with people that knew everything i was up to no ways bro i feel like if i ever decide to have children they need to know my siblings they need to know their auntie their uncle they need to know their my grandma. friends and they need to know their grandma because no ways yeah. yeah i feel like nah you know i really applaud like other families from other races yeah because no. they just like they they involve it, it's like they're involved now but not too involved because also it's like it will be hectic now if you're staying with your auntie your uncle their children your i mean like family and the grandparents that, like, and stuff but i'm just saying like you need to understand that family is needed in some of stuff because yeah like your mom might fail you but your grandma wouldn't and if your mom never introduced you to your grandma your mom would have failed you and then you would have no problem yeah it's just an example yeah it's just an example <coughs> yeah but i get what she's saying because mm -hmm. i feel like that's what really makes a family is the like bonds and yeah. connections and the, the memories you guys build together not this thing of oh we only meet on christmas because yeah christmas mm -hmm. birthday nobody's doing anything there's no excuse to let's say hey, let's talk come. about christmas so <laughs> right not just christmas just general public holidays let's talk no because like general public holidays i feel like on new year's you sit here at home new year's new year's eve you wouldn't have anybody over but on christmas 
Yeah, yeah. People have to come and eat your food on Christmas. <laughs> I like, promise you, they're coming to take the ice cream container to go I'm in. telling you, they're coming to eat your meat on Christmas. They do not play, and I feel like you're bored. And now you have to, you as a growing girl or as a growing boy, have to now deal with these people just popping in and out of your lives, asking you questions, pretending to care, and then dipping. You know what I mean? They're coming back That's after a whole <laughs> ass year, pretending to care again, and then dipping. Or telling you shit about things that you did when you were a kid, as if you remember that shit, because they'll be like, oh, you remember when you used to run away from me? How am I supposed to remember <laughs> that you used to freak me out? Because literally, no, 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 literally, on Christmas, we had my mom's brothers over, and one of them was like to me, oh, my uncles. That's very pretty hectic. Yeah. Oh, we had my uncles over, and one of them was like to me, do you remember when you were a baby? You used to run away and cry every time you saw me. And I'm like, is that something you are proud of? Is that something you're supposed to be telling me? How will I even remember? Because I'm a whole 20 year old. Now, 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 now. By the way, I turned 20 yesterday. I turned 20 yesterday, so I have birthday to me. You better put a picture of 10 10. Yeah. But yeah, <laughs> um, yeah, I'm a full blown well at the time 19 year old. How was I supposed to remember what I did as a kid? You know what I mean? Like, how was I supposed to remember that I used to run away from you and cry? Maybe it's because you were scared. I still just like, hello, you know, just create yeah, it's it's disappear. Yeah. Um, let's move on from that. I don't know if you want to share maybe a story about the time a family member came over and told you because the thing is, they also tell you like stupid stuff like, oh, you've grown, or oh, I thought you were in grade eight, and you're like, what do you mean? <laughs> but yeah, do you have something you want to share or making? I don't know, not, nothing much. I just hate yeah. how they don't know you, but like they want to give you advice. I don't get that because I feel like <laughs> for me personally, they never give you advice. <laughs> Bro, I don't think I've ever been giving advice. Good for you. But yeah. I think for me. <laughs> For me personally, I feel like I feel like personally they just come in and start thinking, okay, this is where life is like it's like you you it's like no it's longer advice. advice mostly. Like my mom's friends give me advice, bro. It's no longer advice. They'll tell me like stay more... away from men. Bruh. <laughs> it's not okay, advice. <laughs> it's not a case of listen to me because I'm older. I know. Yeah, that's that's what it is. Because when I'm you don't do you what, what they do. tell you, mm. now you're a bad person. All right, but so on to our last topic. I just wanna. Yeah, if I take any more, I'm not going to speak English. I'm going to speak, speak, speak. <laughs> Yo, sorry, it's not it. I don't know, it's like, it's a certain thing that happens when you're recording and you're high. I don't know, the words just go, Ooh. Yeah. <laughs> but on to our last topic, um, dealing with family meetings. Now, um, before we go into this any further, I want to like hop back into the story that I was telling earlier on when I was speaking about our parents deal with, excuse me, your behavior or your disrespect. Um, when I spoke about my dad like, coming for me, that was basically a mini family meeting because everybody was sitting there. It wasn't just me and my dad, my mom, my brother, my sister, everybody was there. You know, everybody heard me get attacked. So like, it was a mini family meeting that how I dealt with that at that point was I kept my mouth shut. And I feel like that's how I deal with family meetings. Period. No cap, no. I don't be talking. Like, I feel like, because also, um, I feel like uh, they don't hear you when you speak. Yeah. They'll call a family meeting, they'll say, oh, everybody must say what, how they're feeling, whatever, and you speak about where you are at at that point in time, and they invite your feelings, and they put your feelings aside and say that you're lying, mm -hmm. or they gaslight you and say that, um, you know, like, oh, but when have I ever done, done something for you? Or, oh, it's not um, when, when, <laughs> Yeah, like, I'm the one who put you on yeah. this world. Like, without me, you wouldn't have a place to stay, blah, blah, blah. And it's like, that's just the law. But I feel like, once you have a child, you should know that your life is over. And this is why I say I don't have kids. Because I don't want to be a terrible parent, personally. I feel mm -hmm. like that's where, that's what is, that's my main, I don't know how to explain or oh, to worry about what I'm saying because I'm really high. But <laughs> that is where my mind is really. Um, dealing with family meetings? Yeah, I feel like just know your place. If they show you what your place is in that house, yeah, just know it. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> It's unfortunate that like, it had to be like this, but there's no other way to do with it because as a kid, if you fight, you will get no Just wait. I know yeah. it's unfortunate and I know there's a lot of people who might come across this video. Yeah. To learn. Yeah. From two girls. Yeah. <laughs> Same experience. Yeah. Like, when I have two minds. Yeah. Just wait. Just wait. On because just I, wait and pray because without God, we can't do anything. You only make things longer. Exactly. Like, you will only give yourself more problem and more trauma. Trust me, that's not what you want. You're too yeah. for it. You two hands in for me. Look at you. Look at you. Okay. Um, I think this video is going on for way too long. You know, I so think it's fine. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. 
but we'll end the video here but because i don't think there is okay no it's not that i don't think there isn't anything else for us to talk about that was yeah. our last topic but yeah um so we're gonna end the video here but before that do let us know like go through each and every topic let us know down below in the comments how you feel about what we said and what we were speaking about let us know how you also do with stuff or maybe your own stories we're interested in reading <coughs> my voice is going i'm dying and i'm struggling to use my brains we had fun but before we close the video completely completely or before we end it we're gonna take one more pour from our pipes <laughs> okay Okay, um, girl. Before we take a poll, oh, oh, um, right. leave a comment down below. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to like. Also, subscribe, please, and become a bud. Join the garden. It is amazing here. We have fun. We get lit. We talk music and life as a whole. We go out. We have fun. So join the garden. There is yeah. no reason for you not to join the garden. Yeah, I know what I mean. Come up on today because buds smell good. No, they do. That I can guys. And I can tell you, this garden, we are watered, we are fed, we are in the sunlight. So why don't you join? Watch and have soul. those roots fertilized. They dry over there. You are dry over there. Come over here. Come over here. Why are you over there? Come take a puff with us. Come on. <laughs> All right, buds. Um, we will close the video or we'll end the video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate you guys. You guys are amazing. One more time, let's give it up for AJ. <laughs> Our very own makeup artist. Do go check her out on YouTube, IG, and TikTok. She's doing the finest looks. She's killing it. She's slaying, she's eating, and she's giving no crumbs. All right, y'all. Thank you very much for watching the video. Um, like I said, if you enjoyed, leave a like, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you, buds.